Welcome back, guys. So they have a new quest line again. So this time it's Vengeance of the Skin. It's our little live right now. So we are gonna get a Springfield Crag Bayonet. I think that's a new weapon. A legendary Nagata Officer Brawler. Okay. Don't feel like a Nagata Officer Brawler. I don't think it's if that's a new weapon. Probably not. And a Springfield Crag Sniper. I think that's definitely a new weapon. <coughs> a legendary Bomb Lance. A ch weapon charm and a legendary hunter, the skin. Uh, let's check the quest line. Uh, on the first one, we're gonna unlock the the crag bayonet. Let's see. Uh, so we have the gear traps again. Should always do this. I have a video on my channel how to find the gear traps. We also have deal damage to enemy hunters. This is also pretty easy. So how many points we need here? We need six points. So I suggest you get the gator traps. Uh what is this? You shot. I think this is also easy. So you just heal your teammates or something. On the second quest line, so we have what did we get here? Oh, it's the officer brawler. Uh Loot burst or cash register, pretty easy. Kill crows or horse, pretty easy also. Emulators with dusters or knuckle knife, that is also pretty easy to do. Uh, deal damage to enemy handers using pistols, mm, easy. Uh, I think this, this, how many missions do we need here? We, I can actually see how many points we need to unlock this. So I guess if you do any everything except for the deal damage to enemy hunters, that's actually pretty easy for the quest line. And then on the third quest line, we're gonna get the Krag sniper. So we have kill hellhounds. Uh yeah, pretty easy also to do. Uh, deal damage to enemy hunters using any custom special ammo. Okay, if you like. To f looking for enemy hunters it's also fine but i hope it gives me more than one points this is actually hard because you're shooting other people uh the pbe part is actually pretty easy like this one kill armored or hives with fire is pretty easy uh look at the boss there this is also pretty easy doesn't involve pvp is easy we have gator traps again this is still damage with using oh so you need to deal damage using the new skin weapon the new officer brawler uh i think this is pretty hard i wish this deal damage using special ammo will gives you more gives you more points but it only gives you one so do everything here except for this do this last if possible Okay, on the fort, we get the legendary bomb lands. Kill water devil. I really hate this quest. Kill water devil. You can do it with poison ammo easily. But I really don't like looking for water devils. Uh, acquire traits from charms. Traits from charms. Oh. I think this is where you kill the meathead and you get their skills from the meathead. Yeah, this is somewhat hard, but you only get two points for it. So avoid this. Maybe do it last. Uh, deal damage to enemy hunters using shotguns. It is also fine, but you only get two points for it. But it's only shotgun. You see, if it's a PvP quest line it's quite hard because you need to find enemy hunters to shoot land headshots uh yeah we only need to land six headshot but also gives you six points which is also good poison damage to enemy hunters looks like we have three pvp quest line 
right here. What is this? Punish the boss or activate Wild Spring. This is actually quite easy. You can actually do this a lot easier than finding enemies to shoot. Okay, on the fourth quest line, let's see. So we get a weapon charm. Personally, I really don't care about weapon charms. Let's see. Uh, we have kill armor or hellhounds with poison damage. Yep. Just yeah, so a silent nagat with poison ammo. We'll do that. Uh, kill any monsters at Alice Farm. I don't like this. Ah, wait. It says any monster. So this is actually pretty easy. So you don't need to memorize this Alice Farm and or Karmic and Wells Stone Mill. Basically, this is the center compound of the map. Just go to the center and that's where you find it. Uh, make any manders bleed. Uh, oh yeah, it's only 10 hunters bleed. So the easiest way to do this is with uh, a shotgun with the full shot ammo. Pretty easy to do. We get explosive damage to enemy hunters. Uh, maybe... Oh yeah, dynamites. Yeah, could be pretty easy or pretty hard. I actually tend to do the PvP quest line last. What is this? Kill enemy hunters with Noah screw. Oh yeah. So you just need to kill four enemy hunters with the new bomb lands. Deal damage to enemy hunters using any variants of Springfield Crag. And we also have gear traps. So we have one, two, three, four. Or PvP quest line right here. I actually tend to do the PvP quest line last. I'll actually pick the gator traps and all of this, then do the PvP next. Okay, so the fort we're gonna get the skin, so this is what we want. Let's see, kill emulator with choke bombs. That's pretty easy to do. Set a living enemy hunter on fire. Okay, so in my experience, the fastest way to do this is with the shotgun. The shotgun with the fire ammo. See, unlike the rifle and the pistol, you need at least two to three hits. With the shotgun, you instantly set them on fire. Uh, or just use, throw them out of cocktail or a lantern. Uh, deal damage to enemy hunter using full metal jacket or incendiary ammo. So, on this part, you can actually get this and this at the same time. Or you can just use full metal jacket. Actually, full metal ja jacket will probably deal more damage. Uh, deal damage to enemy hunter using any ammo of bomb lands. Okay. We have gear traps again. Kill mid-head kill mid-head with melee damage. Uh I think this is a bit hard. Maybe if you have a bomb lance, but it's still hard. Even with a bomb lance, you're still gonna get damage. Kill enemy hunters with any variant of Springfield Crag. Okay. Uh extract with a bounty or soul survivor. So we have like one I don't know. One, two, three. Only three PvP quest line. No, four. Four. Four PvP quest line. So it, when you're already right here, I suggest you grab this and maybe grab this gate, investigate gator traps, and do just kill the boss quickly, grab it, and just run towards the exit. Okay, that's it. Oh, we also have the new grandma. The new grandma DLC. It's also live. So with the grandma DLC, we have... Where was that? Yeah. So, she counts with two legendary weapons. 
and a and a healing item I think so it comes with a Romero hatchet and a Godwell uppercut and a first aid kit okay that's it guys that's and showdowns latest stuff like and subscribe see you again next time bye guys